So I really like OpenWRT, so I figured why not uh, combine my little travel router here and the Kerberos SDR for a RTL uh, TCP server on the little travel router uh, that I'll then connect to with GQRX. This will be a quick one. Really all we need to do is uh, we'll take a look. So we see the travel router. We see everyone should know Kerberos SDR, or if you don't, you go to rtl-sdr.com forward slash ksdr. You can read more about it there. And uh, of course I have OpenWRT installed. Uh, it actually comes by default on this uh, GLAR750 travel router I think you can get for, I don't know, around about $40. On Amazon it's got a USB port, so that's where I have the uh, Kerberos plugged in. I do have external power provided to the Kerberos. Uh, the little USB port isn't enough on its own. So we'll pull up terminal here. We will go right into the OpenWRT router. Again, it's uh, 18.06.4. We need to update the uh, packages that are available. Let it go through update. And all we're going to need to install is uh, RTL-SDR. And it'll pull in what else it needs. Uh, so O package, install RTL-SDR. And you can see libRTL-SDR. You can see we've got all our tools that we recognize in here. Now if I run test, okay. You can see normally you'd have to unplug the Kerberos and plug it back in. Uh, but you can see we've got our Kerberos SDR available here in OpenWRT. Take a look at the RTL uh, TCP, see what our options are here. Uh, all we we'll want to do is run RTL TCP, uh, the listen address, which is 192.168.2.1. We can leave the default port. I've noticed that performance wise on the max number of linked list of buffers, uh, let's see, eight and uh, number of buffers, we can keep that. Well, let's do 10. And device index, so uh, you can see when you ran the test, we have access to 0, 1, 2, and 3. I'll just go ahead and uh, let's see. I've got antennas hooked up, so. All right, so we can see that's running now. And if you wanted this to stick after a reboot, you could come to system or log into your OpenWRT Lucy interface here. Come to system, startup. And if you come down to the bottom, I could have put this same command here submit and save. And the next time it reboots, as long as I have my RTL SDR or my Kerberos SDR plugged in the server will come up and I'll be able to access that, um, that radio. So GQRX. We'll start it up. We'll want to change devices to the RTL SDR Spectrum server. We'll put the IP address of the OpenWRT router. Uh, port 1234 was the default. We can leave everything else default. Now I should be able to start it up and now I have access to the uh, radio that's plugged into the little travel router.
So that's pretty inexpensive. Um, not a lot to it. it, doesn't take a lot of power. I could have just as easily did it with the, the RTL SDR, but hey, if you got a Kerberos SDR, why not make uh, as much use of it as you can? Be interesting to see if I could uh, actually run multiple, uh, just out of curiosity, let's see. Let's see, what if we did Try another port. Two, three, four, five. Let's try another radio. All right, let's disconnect. Like you could have potentially all four radios of the Kerberos SDR being shared, say, on different ports, uh, port forwarded and able to be accessed. So, all right, just another use of uh, Kerberos SDR, GQRX, and uh, OpenWRT.